One more share I wanted to do with you today. I had talked to some other ladies about this because there was questions about how should we keep ideas for junk journals and what we wanted to do. And I had mentioned to a few of them that I had done this, and this was actually my very first junk journal I did. And more than anything, I just wanted to try it. I wanted to do it. I didn't have a purpose for it, so I had to make up a purpose. So what I did was, you know, it was my first attempt at coffee dyeing paper. I just made a normal junk journal. There was two inserts in here. I think there was like four holes per one. Um, so what I do is when I sit down and have a YouTube binge day watching tutorials, I'll go... I'll get one of our millions of inserts from books that we've used. So all that's left is the papers that we all end up with way too many of. So I'll sit down and just have one of those by me. And if I'm watching a video, a tutorial, and I like the things that they're doing, I'll make one. Even if I'm not planning on using it right then, it just gets stuck in here. I mean, this is literally just a cheap piece of copy paper. I don't care how well it holds up. It's just for me to keep a visual reference of ideas that I've come across. Now all the pockets and all the tags or anything that's in here are probably not my idea. Just ones that I had found videos of. And I just make a small little replica just so that I can go back and take a look at them, get ideas. It's also like this one, I was trying out, oh, that shows up pretty. I was trying out um, Tattered Angels. So it was just kind of an experiment. I like to be able to try to keep them where they're easy enough for me to look at them and remember how I did it. I also find, there was a stencil I tried out, I also find this really helpful when I'm putting together a junk journal because I don't know about you guys, but I tend to do the same things over and over and get kind of tired of them. So if I need a fresh idea to go into one, if I look through here, you know, it gives me that idea like, oh yeah, I could do that instead. Okay, I haven't done this style pocket in a while. I haven't done whatever. So this gives me the ability to go back and just look at different ideas that I've come across. Um, sometimes I keep my guides for, you know, poking our holes. I think that was actually... Oh, it says travel journal. So that's basically my insert for my travel journals. And that's why I would keep it because that's what I use all the time. So yeah, I mean, there is my concept on what I do to keep ideas. Just a reference point for me to go back and look at. You know, none of them are done real great. Most of them I didn't even cut with scissors. I mean, like this one, you could tell I just tore it. It's just how quick and easy can you make it while you're watching a video. So you can try to keep up on their ideas. Oh, that one has a pocket in the top. I don't know what I was doing there. I hope this helps everybody. Maybe gives you an inspiration for a way that you would like to keep your ideas. But this is how I do mine and I haven't actually added to it in a while, but I find it to be helpful. Alright, everyone, you guys have a good day. This will be posted eventually as soon as my internet starts working for me. I'm in the process of posting another one, but it literally told me it was going to take four hours to upload. So sometime in the next four days it should be up.